Today's episode of AMSA TV is proudly brought to you by the Australian Medical Association. After graduating from medical school, every medical graduate must successfully complete a supervised internship of 12 months in order to gain full registration under the medical board and go on to further training. This includes general practice. Since 2004, there have been significant increases in the number of medical students in Australia, intended to alleviate the national doctor shortage and prepare the nation to cope with the ageing population. This was good in theory, but the increases were far too vast and too rapid. Between 2004 and 2012, the number of medical graduates will have increased by over 1,600. That's over 120%. Recently, all the state health ministers guaranteed internships for all Commonwealth supported medical graduates. However, this still leaves 25% of our graduating year being international students and domestic undergraduate full fee paying students without guaranteed internships. In terms of getting an internship, it's not enough that you get a piece of paper at the end of that period of time. The internship actually has to be a quality internship, so it gives you the skills and experience necessary to practice independently as you make your transition from medical student to doctor. It is for this reason that the AMA, in conjunction with AMSA, has advocated very strongly that all medical students get access to internships. And not only is there an adequate quantity of internships, but there's an adequate quality. The breakdown has occurred with universities being able to enrol as many students as they want, the federal government calling for more medical graduates, the state's accrediting bodies having limited capacity to accredit internships, and the states having to fund internships and junior doctor training places. Thus, to bring about change, we need to be working at all levels. In the short term, the states and the federal government need to bite the bullet and fund enough intern and junior doctor training positions for all students currently in the system. In the long term, however, we need to work out how many intern and junior doctor training positions our system can accommodate before taking students into first year university. Thus, we need to regulate the numbers of students entering medical schools in Australia. To find out more, please visit us at amsa.org.au or contact your local AMSA rep.